Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jococov.org. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Lamaster. I'm the local health officer for Johnson County. So long-term uh, problems and impacts of having had COVID-19. These are mostly limited to people who have had the more severe versions of the virus. So people who have had pulmonary disease or have some of the uh, complications uh, that come along with COVID. So there, we know that there are problems when people get COVID in their clotting system. They tend to get strokes. Uh, they tend to have problems with renal shutdown because the blood flow to their kidneys stops. Many of them end up on dialysis or with long-term effects of strokes. So, and then people who have had the pulmonary disease have very severe pulmonary problems uh, which continue to be a problem after they get out of the hospital. It's early days yet to see just how long-term and how many people who have had these uh, severe versions of of COVID will have long lasting uh, complications as a result of it. All we can say is that the information that we have uh, that tells us who will become a severe case and need to be hospitalized or have something like a stroke or a renal shutdown is very limited. We know that these risks are higher in the older adults and in certain populations and so it's important to do all we can to try and keep uh, the number of cases down and for you personally to prevent getting the, va the, uh, the virus as much as you possibly can. And we do that, as you know, by social distancing, wearing masks, washing your hands. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.